Hey there, everybody. It's Jackie from Cruising the Sierra Farm. And um, today, um, I'm real excited. So, um, I have been creating my own liquid uh, mushroom cultures. And today, I'm finally going to be planting my wine cap mushroom bed. And um, this bed was just um, some leftover lumber we had from my husband building some... Um, garden garden raised beds for me and so like I said I'm finally getting to do it now I'm going to turn the camera around and show you some of the uh, things that I will be using for for doing I so. have things to do over again I would not do um, the colonization in these half gallon jars it is very difficult to get the uh, substrate to move around by shaking it appropriately so I will only be doing bags from now on but we have these um, half gallon jars you can see that one has colonnaded all the way down there but only to the right about here on this side and this one's been struggling I just can't get them to move well but that's okay we have enough there to work with this small bed so um, and I can continue to inoculate this more um, with more layers later on so right here we have wood pellets these are hard wood pellets like the pellets that you would burn in your pellet stove to keep your house warm right here i have some chopped straw and some triple screen uh shavings wood shavings and then in this bag this is mealworm frass if you follow me you know that i raise mealworms well um it has it came to my attention um, last year that um, fungi will grow and eat away at insect frass like no other. So we have added that to our our sawdust bond that we um, or that I mix together. I keep saying we, but I'm the only one that does it. Um, so I've done a mixture that I use for my bags or my jars to inoculate. And so we are going to be layering and um, layering the ingredients that I just showed you uh, to grow these wine cap mushrooms. That is what we are growing in this bed anyway. Um, I'll be doing a video soon on my lion's mane and uh, blue oyster mushroom growing. And it'll be done roughly in the same location in the shade underneath this tree. And um, we will be growing those in a manner that anybody can grow them in any situation, whether they be in an apartment and only have a little tiny patio or balcony or lots of space. So anyway, I'm gonna turn this around and hopefully it won't be too much in the sun that it creates a problem videoing for me. So there is um, one layer. So that started out with pine shavings. Then we went to the straw. I put in some mealworm frass. That is their poop, 
their poop. Sorry, I had a hiccup. And, um, and then I threw in some hardwood pellets. So the shavings are most likely a softwood. So, um, but they will still eat at that, but they will eat, uh, the mycelium will actually eat the, um, the hardwood, um, better. So we, we are using the pine shavings for more structure and more, um, substrate for the bed. And then we're using, we're coming in with the hardwood to give them something yummy to eat. So I'm going to go ahead and break open the, uh, the sawdust spawn and we'll turn you around in just turn a you around to show you. I've taken the lid off now. You see all that? That is absolute brilliant uh, wine cap mushroom mycelium growth. All right. I brought out my butter knife so I can help get it out of the jar. Oh, all of it's already coming out. All right, so I'm gonna to bring this up to the camera so there you go it's just gonna crumble nicely into my hand and i'm just gonna break it up throw it out there Okay, so there's one, there's one level, one layer.
let's do some straw. Now some more, more grass. Go ahead and put the next layer on. And I gotta find what I did with the knife again. Hmm. All right. Here it is. Smells super earthy. Yeah, never again in the jars. Super, super difficult to get it out uh, or shake it up to where the entire thing can get inoculated well. Most of this that I'm getting out now is not truly inoculated, but it's fine because it's hardwood pellets and we'll give it, well, plus some other ingredients and it'll definitely give it something to eat. So it's all good. All good. Now I'm just going to scrape my hands down the side where I can see my psyllium grow. And throw it in. 
right. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cover it with some, some shavings. We'll just do the whole layer, well, almost the whole layer again. I'm gonna do another one of these beds out front in the north, it's the uh, northern side of the house. Um, in a, kind of a flower bed that has a couple trees in it for shade. We'll see how it does on the north side of the property. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about in a minute. Actually, oh no, I already used it all up. This is basically to just cover it up. I said I can add to this every year if I need to further inoculate the bed. Which will be cool. Definitely looking forward to freeze drying and eating these mushrooms. All right. the hose. We'll get this watered in good. Well, I'm enjoying the um, amount of shade this bed is going to get because that was kind of an important factor. It'll still get sun, but it'll get shade. So um, mushrooms kind of need that, which is why we'll be growing on the north side of the house as well. But this was some space that um, I used to love to come sit on that rock um, to get out of the sun for a bit. <laughs> so, we're going to water this in real good. And then we'll put the uh, drip emitters in there, their spectrums. And they will spray it down twice a day. <clears throat> which is great we really want to saturate this I probably should have done it in layers but it will be good if I make sure that I get it done get lots of it in there it's pretty warm out today so it's going to be necessary for sure Um, just out of curiosity, how many of you have been interested in growing your own mushrooms? Probably lots. Um, I have lots of plans for this. Um, again, like I said in the video earlier, definitely want to do uh, some freeze drying to have at my disposal. I enjoy, you know, setting aside for, in mylar bags for long extended periods of time, like years, they'll last like 25 years. 
but I also like to have on hand in um, in those gallon or sorry half gallon mason jars uh, so that literally I can make a dinner in like no time flat because all the ingredients are at my fingertips whether it be onions chives garlic mushrooms um, herbs all of the herbs we grow here on the farm um, it sure makes life so much easier and quicker especially just kind of get the uh, sawdust cleaned off there or not sawdust but the shavings anyway um I'm going to go sit in the shade while I talk to y'all. Anyway, uh, so mushrooms was just um, definitely something I wanted to have on hand. Um, and pretty soon I'm going to be making, um, some other things that will help us. Like one of my husband and son's favorite, favorite, uh, um, meals is my tuna noodle casserole and it calls for cream of mushroom soup. So I'll be making, um, I'll be making a dry soup of anything basically. So it'll be a dry mixture that I can literally, I don't have to buy canned cream of mushroom soup anymore. Um, I will be able to, uh, I will be able to just um, grab like a third of a cup of the powder or the dry soup mix, add my, um, add my freeze dried mushrooms to it and voila, I've got cream of mushroom soup or, um, sorry, I don't know how I had that. Uh, or um, celery. Um, I grew a ton of celery last year in the garden and I can just grab some of the freeze-dried celery and then I've got cream of celery soup or chicken. I can grab the uh, freeze-dried chicken I have and have cream of chicken soup. So stay tuned for those videos. I will definitely put them out there when I, when I get them done. Um, but I'm excited that I was able to share this mushroom growing bed with you. And um, in a couple months, I hope I can come show you our first flush of mushrooms. Um, anyway, uh, I hope you all have a great day. And um, if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe and hit that bell notification. That'll let you know when I upload a new video. And if you like the content, I would hope that you would share it with your friends that are like-minded. Um, here at Cruising the Sierra Farm, we're all about... Um, trying to use our our acre little hobby farm homestead to um, you know grow and raise our food or as much of it as we possibly can and um, I have to make our own soil to grow in um, there will be an upcoming video that shows you why I have to make all of the growing medium that we grow our vegetables and fruits in so stay tuned for that and like i said if you hit the bell notification that will tell you when i upload a new video so you guys don't miss that um, it'll be an interesting um, video for sure all right you guys i hope you all have a great day thanks for stopping in see you again next time